The wildfires that are raging across Australia have been horrible to watch. Scientists believe that nearly 1 billion animals have been affected or killed, so I wanted to make a video about just a few of the species that are being threatened in the hopes that it'll raise awareness and possibly send you to the Red Cross website where you can donate whatever you can. The Red Cross Australia has already put over 1,200 people down there to help out those who have been affected and have opened 69 recovery or evacuation centers. So go to the website, help out, give whatever you can. Let's get into the animals. As we've seen on social media so far, koalas are the cutest Unfortunately, 25,000 koalas are feared dead, and those numbers are growing because the koala population in Australia is estimated at over 300,000. Feral camels are also a large group that are making their way out of the burning arid desert, but into Aboriginal communities in search for water and food. 10,000 are expected to be shot and killed because their presence in the communities pose a threat to children. Now losing 10,000 camels isn't a threat to the entire species because camel populations double every nine years. And in 2010, the Australian federal government planned to kill some 670,000 feral camels over four years to prevent them from crowding out native species and damaging property. So it's not a threat to the species, but still 10,000 feral camels having to be killed, tragic. The long-footed potteroo is under threat of extinction thanks to these fires. This is a marsupial that lives in damp forest habitats and is believed to be suffering greatly because scientists say that their habitat will likely never sufficiently recover from the fires. The Kangaroo Island Glossy Black Cockatoo is also facing extinction. Before the fires, only 300 cockatoos existed and the cockatoos eat the seeds from she oak trees, which are all burning. Insects are also being threatened. Bees have already been killed off in mass thanks to other fires, but now the current brush fires are burning their homes to an even greater extent. Banksia plants are used by green carpenter bees for nesting, but the plants become hospitable only after 30 years. Researchers have had a tough time gaining access to the burn sites, but many fear the population of banksia plants are in dire straits. Velvet worms are a cute communal animal. One will catch prey and then hold it while the others eat. But teamwork hasn't been able to prevent these guys from facing huge losses in their population. The velvet worms find shelter in rotting logs and they're highly susceptible to the fires. And these velvet worms are a local community, meaning it's really hard to find them outside of Australia. So once their species is lost in Australia, it's likely they'll be gone forever. The Australian Alpine Grasshopper is a phenomenal species who's the only grasshopper to change body color depending on its body temperature, and the only grasshopper to engage in brutal fights during mating season. While the fires may not directly burn the grasshoppers because of their ability to burrow, the fires are threatening the larger food supply of smaller insects, which could bring an end to the alpine hopper. Another bee population under threat is the Ligurian bees. Most Ligurian bees live on Kangaroo Island, where nearly 33% of the territory has burned. And while most bee species can move their hives simply by flying away from the smoke and flames, Ligurian queen bees cannot fly. Finally, the trapdoor spider, who like the alpine grasshopper can burrow away from the heat, still faces a threat of extinction as fires have engulfed the sterling ranges where they live. The ranges, a biodiverse hotspot, has experienced over 150 square miles of burning, which has wiped out the smaller insect populations, just like the grasshoppers. Although trapdoor spiders are resilient, the oldest spider lived up to 43 years old. That's the oldest spider ever recorded in the history of mankind. Researchers fear that the biological fallout once the fires subside in the sterling ranges will make life impossible, not only for trapdoor spiders, but for the thousands of insects and animal species who thrived before. Thank you for watching, and please, if you have a minute or a couple extra dollars you can spare, please go to the Red Cross Australia's website and give whatever you can. Until next time, my name is Brendan Plank with Reflect. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications, and I will see you in the next video.